Hi, doctor. How are you doing? Fine, sir. Wow, I could see a lot of uh, pin boards, uh, stickers behind you. That implies a uh, very meticulous, very <laughs> strong, hard operation. So yeah, I really yeah. love greetings from the entire uh, faculty team of uh, SQUID, both for general medicine and all the specialty medicine and also cardiology, for uh, you achieving a phenomenal and a fantastic rank number 14 in any SS AIMS DM cardiology session 2021. Yes, thank you, sir. So, can we know uh, some background about Dr. Krishna Kusum from uh, where you did your medicine, where you did your MD, and where do you want to DM cardiology? Sir, I did my uh, MBBS from Armed Forces Medical College. Then I left, uh, I paid out from the college. And in the same year, just after finishing internship, I did my, I got into MD General Medicine in UCMS Delhi. And I have completed my MD uh, in medicine in August 2021. And uh, today I'm sitting with you. And why do you want to do DM cardiology? What motivated you, inspired you to do that? So it is uh, the kind of adrenaline rush, the feeling of satisfaction that you can actually, when you are timely intervening, you can actually salvage the patient. On the contrary, in neurology and oncology, when you are, when you do not have some much to cure, which was actually kind of aversion for me. So cardiology was good for me because uh, you can actually cure someone if you timely intervene. Okay. Now, uh, can you tell us something about your preparation strategy? When did you start? How many hours you uh, were preparing per day? And how was your last minute revision program went on? Can you tell us something about that? So it is holistic actually uh, preparation start right from the first day in your of your MD medicine. While you are in ward, you are seeing patients, you are getting cue from the patients and you are at the same time, you are teaching your juniors, you are also teaching undergrad students. So preparation start from there itself, it gives you a base, it gives you a solid foundation. On top of that, you have to read particularly for your specialty. So for uh, in my first year, first year was very, very hectic and uh, there was not much time to study. Second year, I, I was getting time to study, definitely. And in second year, I was seeing more of patients and was, I was more focused on medicine. It was only in my third year when I started focusing on my subject of interest, that is cardiology. And uh, that is the time when I joined SPEED also. And uh, I'm glad I joined it. So, what did you do in speed? I have taken uh, that uh, video, complete video plus test series package. So, I, oh, I used to... I used how to, are you uh, preparing with speed? Are you attending online classes or live classes? Or, I mean, what are the things you have been doing in that? So, that, that, will, that if you share that, that can help so many aspirants to use the app actually. So in my second year, I only focused on medicine. It was only third year when I started focusing on super speciality. In my super speciality, what I would do, I would uh, set a target for a week that in this week, I have to finish a particular topic. For that, I will go through the uh, notes. Uh, I will go through the videos. I will go through videos of speed as well as I will uh, read Harrison through and through. And I will do Brownwald based MCQs of the same. So that was my kind of holistic package. I did not treat a brown world extensively. I used to do brown world based MCQs. I have read 600, 700 pages from brown world through and through, but not the entire book. So were you able to complete all the videos in the app, street learning app, I mean cardiology? How was it useful for you? It was good, sir. Uh, the best thing is it starts from basics. So it is very good for your basic learning and on top of that you have brown world based uh, mcq discussions as well so that also adds on to it so overall uh, it was a, a good experience okay now how many questions did you attend uh, in your uh, ess 77 out of 80 so in cardiology what percentage of questions were from cardiology of harrison and Robert? From Harrison, not much. From Brown World, also there was a chunk of, but 
it was mostly questions were from recent uh, uh, one very peculiar feature about this question paper was there were a lot of repeat questions in cardiology so there were around uh, 10 repeat questions from previous papers so that was one that was one major source apart from that uh, roundward definitely uh, questions were from roundward but uh, questions from the, were from recent journals uh, as well okay how many questions do you feel that is from recent journals almost so, 10 then i won't ask you how did you prepare for general medicine general medicine it was basically what i did in my second year and what i learned in my ward and uh, i had the exam just given passed out examination for general medicine two three months prior so everything was uh, in recent memory so it, there was not much problem with that so it was a part of your uh... MD general medicine program so that yes. you are able to have that. Yeah, I do not do much. I do not do much for medicine. My last days, I focused on my su super speciality uh, during my last days of preparation. So your focus was on cardiology. Your focus was on cardiology. Yes, sir. How did you revise? For revising uh, notes and uh, Brownwell based MCQs. I would go through notes, I will prepare notes, I will go through notes and I will do uh, brown world based MCQs and also at the same time I will also do uh, tables from Harrison's and tables from brown world. Okay, so it was a detailed discussion on all perspective and aspects of your preparation. It was great interacting with you and uh, I wish you all the best and all the success as a great cardiologist in uh, years to come. And uh, definitely, you will be a great help to a lot of people. And uh, Happy New Year to you, to your family members and all your relatives. Best wishes once again. Thank you, sir.